dive. I'd like to say it's clobbering time, but that's probably not the right thing. But it's Captain close. Marvel. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Skater dude. So we're going to go right now and talk about dork things. Hi, hey, dork. Dork things, you say, at the dork table. Hey, Vin, okay. what's up? I'm stalling uh, because uh, uh. I'm typing in the box. You know I can't do two things at once. You're a kite boxer. No, I'm not. But I have done it. <laughs> Yay. Now. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll scroll back up here on my uh, notepad here. Yeah. And, uh, we'll, we'll intro the show. We're How at, about that? We're at the dork table again. Scrolling. Like Tuesday night. Scrolling. Or my Tuesday night. What do you do? What time yeah, it, it is noon central in American Ozarkia. Right. So we're having the exact same time. But at different times. That's all to do with uh, climate change. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, and the Russians. Remember? Don't and forget the Russians. The Russians. Yes. Okay. Because nothing you know is real. This is a warning Hello, from a stranger. RLM. Understanding why strangers need to be bombed for their government government's financial behavior. Thank you, Flash. That came from you. I put it together with the... Uh, Nothing you know is real. This is a discourse with idiots and other minor miracles. Not minor like digging the ground, but the, the small guy. Yeah. Uh, and the dork way, table. Yeah, that way Cirque doesn't get confused again. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah. This is the dork table with you and me. That's Flash and Vinny. And, and today I am Vinny Chin Chin. Greetings, fellows and fellow ets out there in the listening realm. And the hey. intro for your listening pleasure downstream hey. on the blog and not hey. yet there will be a Back in Black a by uh -oh. the wonderful and most egregious uh, Black Sabbath. Ouch. No, not Black no, Sabbath. Not. That's ACDC. Uh, AC -DC, that Black Sabbath outro. He did of yeah, me. See, that's what happens to me all the time. I think one thing and I spew another name. Are think you number one with fast. a bullet? No. Are you a power pack? Yes. No. In a bang with the gang, mm -mm. you got to catch him if you want to hang him. Nah, I'm slower than snail snot at this point in my life. Well, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, snail snot's faster than me. Oh, it's, it's embarrassing, but hey, it's all right. I'm not running anywhere anyway. So, hello, RLM. Hello, RLM. Beetle wants to know if we're shitting about the real thing in the title. What's what's the real thing? Uh, fair war a warning from a stranger. I said no. Understanding nothing you know. Nothing you know. It's real. Oh, that. Well, that too. But understanding why strangers need to be bombed for their government's financial behavior should be self-explanatory to a dork. I don't hmm. see a dork having a problem uh, deciphering that little jewel I wrote. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. Hello, RLM. You always RLM. Yeah, you're worse than Mary. Radio. Mm -hmm. XYZ. Real Liberty Media. Com. Come on over. And uh, if you're downstream, come on back for the live broadcast and uh, hang out. Hey, did you know we're over there hanging out on BitChute, the new, uh, new place? Yeah. yeah. That comes from the great and mighty Grimner. Yeah, thank you, Grim. Which is. Which is which is places. And it's a fun site. A lot of fun new people, you know, that you never heard of before, small like us, doing similar things with their radio time. I find it yeah, quite uh, entertaining. Uh, are they wearing clothes when they're doing the broadcast, though? I hope not. I'm not. <laughs> if I'm I don't not. have to, I ain't going to expect anybody else to. Jeez, please. It's bare naked radio. That's why it's radio. Damn, if yes, it was it TV, our ratings would be through the roof. <laughs> People be viewing let's, us. <laughs> let's say hi to the fine folks over here at RealLibertyMedia.com. Right up top, we got Barman, the great Barman. mighty bot. It's, uh, I think, Grimner's alter ego. He is a superhero. And there is uh, Grimner right below Cowboy Tech. Grimner. Giddy up. And Kate, she's listening Kate. Uh, by an extension. Yeah. Hi, Kate. Isn't that wild? And she's man? my witness again, you mm. boy. Mm. Liar. Mm. I ain't late. Mm. 
I never I, said you're I say, late. What I said was I never had so much fun fucking with, around with you on a time to do a radio show because you kept standing me up. No, I didn't. You well, did I it. I stood you up back. Right. So now, man, back. let it go. Yeah. Move on. Stood to me down. Greener pastures are ahead of you, Vinny. Calm down. <laughs> Don't let it be a life-shattering experience. <laughs> Nor should you be a phantom, because we have a phantom. <laughs> the phantom. <laughs> the phantom. And we, we have the uh, apple of your uncle's eye. And tie. Yeah. And tie. And an asthma. Hello, asthma. Hey, you- you missed Beetle on my... Oh, no, you didn't. No, I was I reading did. it backwards. Beetle! Asmo and Beetle. And Miss, Miss Beth is Z. Z. Burr, burr, burr. And Chloe. Chloe. And Colfax Chloe. 101. Ah, Chloe. We got we're, Chloe we're back bar on. OE. We got C bar OE, Chloe. Why are we at Cyber Chloe double noodle. digits, sir? Are, we well, must be I on her good graces back up. again. Yes. And Cyber Noodle... Kovax 101. Cyber noodle. <laughs> anyway. DC. Hey, Don, what's happening? Don, Don, Don. Da-da. Dakota. Dakota. And hey, there's here me. is the uh, the original uh, cast character to play the idiot today. Uh, you flash somebody. Uh, unfortunately, due to my blog, I've had to uh, switch positions with flash somebody. Yeah. So. I'll have to change my name to Vin Idiot. Gromit! Gromit? Where did you... Yeah, there. And Dawn again. Yeah, Dawn's double dipping. IBD Ah, on C. The doctor is in. I'll take uh, two cups to go. (laughs) Wait, Ah. I want to back up to IBD on C. I'd be done. What's he on? I don't know. Okay, he's on C, whatever C is. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. And you said to Java. Java, Java. Java, Java. Java yeah, double doctor. Tip the doctor. Yeah. One and two. Yeah, and we, JJ's. We had to straighten huh? him out on a little error over on the other side. On the other real liberty side. What happened? Doctor was listed as a femme fatale. Because I got a message and it said. Uh, it said Java doctor. And then the end of the name, it said her is on your page or something. Whatever that says afterward. But it said her. I went, hey, you wait a minute. Sex thing. Yeah. And I, hey, you, you're listed as a girl on the other side. You might want to go check in that. No, cause check you, your front yeah, hole. Because your profile has all kinds of shit to check. It's easy to make a click when you don't mean to. I do it all the fucking time trying not to. <laughs> I didn't mean to open that. Well... Want a taco? Want a taco? Yeah. Achoo. I mean, kozu. Kozu. Hey, two. Master. Wait, I got two kozus. I see your kozu, got... and I raise you another. Yeah, but how's he spelled the same way twice? That's what I want I to know. don't know. Can I be Vinny twice? I don't Now we're in trouble. <laughs> the uh, Now uh, it'll be 50 fucking Vinnies, and everybody else won't have a name. <laughs> He'll just wipe I've us already, all out. <laughs> I got about a hundred. One day I'll be the only one here. But they start replacing us. Yeah, we're in trouble. And, hey, Woody. Woody's. Woody. And was, yeah. Would I? Would I? There it is. Moi? Bro. Meister Meister. Hey, the Pox crew is here. Pox is for There's everybody. a box of five, a phone, and soft. Oh, the, pawn sauce. Pawn sauce. Rain. Send down the rain. There's RLM fluke <coughs> and uh, <coughs> conspicuously, that's not the right word, but close enough. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> Aus- auspicious. No, I don't know. What's the word I'm stop. missing <laughs> is RLM fluke. Yes, yes, yes. That is me. I uh, I broke in yesterday as RLM fluke. <laughs> yeah, we can. And uh, I set up duck traps, dirty duck lover traps. Kill all ducks now. You ever stepped in duck poop, you'll know and understand my disdain of that certain <sighs> foul amenity. Yes, yes sir. <sighs> and what about their scuba? Rob works! <laughs> scuba. He's our secret agent, man. <laughs> uh, the bubbler. 
He yes, knows he, how to uh, get shit done. <laughs> he gets he's the man with his hand up the skirt of sock. <laughs> sock puppy. Uh, oh, oh, oh. You're just making friends all over the place tonight. I love it, don't Jesus. you? <laughs> Good thing nobody listens to this shit live. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's the. They're listening. Shut up. There, oh. there's the Rainbow Man, all in one flavor and color. Skittle. Skittle. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look who's back in town. Bob. The boys maniac. Are back. Yeah. Slim, Slim Jim, Jim, Jim and Flim. All three in one name. Go figure. Yeah. What happened? And Frumpy joined us. Hey, trust number one. Frumpy, hey, Frumpy. Representing Canada, Frumpy. Frumpy. Mm. And uh, there's Vinny Chin Trust Chin. number one, with, uh, Vinny E. Chin Chin. Roams. Hey, you're up there again, Vinny R R R Radio. Vinny, Vinny yeah. Chin Chin and Vinny RLM Radio. That's the official me, yeah. the good guy. Yes. Rums is still hanging in the air right after Slim Jim Flim. We have and, and Woodman Rums. came along at the bottom. Mm. So we got Bra and Woodman. Woody. Woodman. Boy, we got people double dipping to make us look important again. I like it when they bump our numbers up to 20. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Anyway, what's up with you, Vincenzo? I changed my name. It's uh, an idiot now. Yeah, well, you seem to have a plan. For the show today. I do, yes. You've seen <laughs> yes, I do. I the dork table and taken it to a level of Let, sensibility listen. we weren't listen. prepared to go to. <laughs> Somebody has to do it. <laughs> okay, what? What's on your mind, sir? Well, uh, perhaps I should scroll here uh, and go out of scroll order since uh, I, am, I am now the idiot today. Uh, let's Keep get this quote. me scrolling. Right. Uh, <laughs> and in the meantime, oh, here it is. Only descendants of a long line of star-spangled idiots would go outside a warm tent into the cold wind to get warm again. <laughs> yeah. Outing. <laughs> Stuart Edward White. <laughs> That's his book, Outing. So, yeah. Don't that, I would do something like that. Stay warm in a cold. Anyway, never mind. That's something I would do, though. I mean, I would go outside. I did last year in uh, uh, and as you pointed out, I will be inside for this winter so far. That hey, my buddy Coy in California, yeah. you know, uh, where I was going to go grow pot at last mm. uh, or this year, where I would have been if I'd have went, uh, it all burned up, man. Uh, it is burnt. There is trucks, you know, 18 wheelers, there's cars all burnt out on the side of the road still mm. going up out of Redding into the mountains, into the high Sierras, where I went up and touched the blaze on the Pacific Crest Trail. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's all gone. Yeah, he said it looks like the desert now. All wow. the trees, you couldn't see nothing for all the trees. It's all burnt and crisp. Well, are you instead the of, uh, of good news? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to go over and check out his video yet on Facebook. We talked last night. I While had we're to walk up and down the road. No, oh, yesterday. Okay. Just checking. You're yeah. kind of crazy no. today. You've been acting Stop. weird. Are you sure you're you? I'm huh? not. Anybody out there in I, RLM land doubt this is the real Vincent? Maybe he's an imposter. Maybe he's a bot. <laughs> Any imposter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You were accused of not being you on the... <laughs> Several times. Several that, was, times. that was too funny. I can't make things <laughs> like that up. I try to think of things like that to do to you. and There I are so many Vinnies close. you can never know. Really? Right. No, because it One, would all be the same dork from the start. What are you, crazy? Who would you know, run around trying to be like you? <laughs> no, Only me. <laughs> exactly. There you go. One thing we can know for certain, according to William Casey, CIA director in 1981, says uh, we'll know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American people believes is false. That's where we're at. What do you, they succeeded? Everything is thank, garbage. Thank you, uh, Activist Post, uh, CIA flashback. You know, I can't think of anything that they taught me that turned out to be true, except for a few of the dates and some names. And none of that worked out anyway because they didn't need it for nothing. Hey, you're doing huh. music in the background, you 
dork. Yeah, I, I, that's the uh, wheels on the bus go round and well, round. You know that about, song. Complaining You're a about window my licker. Oh, is that what I am? Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, your childhood is a window licker. Oh, but it was so much fun. But when you sang the song, you had your tongue stuck to the window because it's a very cold day, and you'd sing it more like very a very cold day in Los Angeles, California, huh? Hmm. What happens? What day would that be, Vincent? <laughs> you know, I grass is green in February, so I'm not sure. Yeah, because you know, if if there was dew on the grass in the morning, it lasted about 20 minutes. <laughs> So, if there's hmm. dew on the grass, bring your pooper scooper, buddy, because it's the law. Ah, oh yeah, the law. I, the I law. like the, I like the law. You know what I like the law to do? do I like the law the least. <sighs> Leave me alone. That's what it's I, intended to be. I don't need your help. Thank you very much. Oh man, see, I, I made a mistake yesterday of traversing without my pen and pad, and uh, <gasps> I did get some very no. good stuff for today. Right. You know. Ah, yeah, traverse. I was going to tell you about it, mm -hmm. but I forgot. Did it change your life? Are you are you a Every better? Do you even know what time it is? Are you a better man for your yes. life's decisions? Ha ha ha! It's I ask you. Did you end up everything that you ever dreamed you could? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so Grimner, here is the uh, the little star clicker uh, adderist, uh, whatever you call that thing. It looks like a, a star. <laughs> a star, Vinny. That kind of described oh. it. What, okay. what was it so, going to confuse it with? A, a, a bow and So arrow? throughout the blog, when I turn this all over to uh, Grimdar on the, uh, uh, over on an email, um, when you see that little star, then the, uh, the, at the bottom of the little bit of the information will be uh, the source and a star behind it. And then just make the, uh, uh, like, state of war for the first one will be the uh, – where you click the link, whatever you call that. And that comes from Origins at uh, Oregon State University, uh, EDU, Review, Anatomy, Military, Industrial Complex. So, uh, titled The State of More of War. More war for everybody, please. Give us more war. You know what the Jews didn't do today? <clears throat> uh, get squeezed? They didn't get caught trying to bomb Syria. <laughs> They are so Fresh sneaky. Meat. They're very good. Oh, they're very like, good. I love orange juice. <laughs> you know, and people think that I, I don't so much like to claim them as I do like to make a point of how absolutely ridiculous the juice story is. Oh, don't be silly. It is ridiculous. 15 million so, people holding you hostage by your short hairs, and you go, oh, please, stick it in a little further. I haven't had enough yet. Oh, that's better. Well, I, I didn't tie all that together today, but the military-industrial complex, MIC, the MIC, as it's uh, shortened to be. See. In 1961, outgoing president Dwight D. D. Eisenhower. Eisenhower. D. D stands for David, recognized that something significant had changed in American life. That's right. And his farewell address to the nation, he coined the phrase military industrial complex. Eisenhower, this is uh, coming up to something I didn't know and something that you may not know as well, you and you, the listener. Eisenhower used that address to have uh, to issue a warning to Americans about the dangers of permanent state of wartime readiness. After One, it must be said. Yeah, after he did yes. it, though. He got paid okay. first, and then he got, wait, hey, this wait. ain't a good idea. Shh, what? Shh, shh. you got to save that to the end of this. Oh, this okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Because it probably <laughs> I'm going to already say what you would want to say. Oh, sorry, Vince. Okay, okay. proceed. Ha have a Coke and a smile, okay? <laughs> Eisenhower uses that address to issue a warning to Americans about the dangers of a permanent state of wartime readiness. One, it must be said that he himself had helped to create, not simply on the economy or our foreign policy, but on the American spirit as well. The DOD, driven more by political, economic, and power considerations than those of national security, played in promoting and funding big science as well as uh, the deep and I'm going to ad lib state deep connections between the Pentagon and think tanks, universities and non-government 
uh, centers of research. Called it the military and intellectual complex. The MIC now drives much of our foreign policy. The federal government subsidizes the defense industry directly through generous contracts and lacks oversight. Sometimes uh, something uh, else uh, the author uh, Cohenstein notes and indirectly through our foreign aid. Congress changes hands, administrations come and go, wars begin and end, but the MIC stays the same, only more so. Taken together, Coinstein's work reminds us uncomfortably that as much as we have professed to be a nation of peace lovers, underneath that rhetoric has been a political economy, uh, economy geared towards war. Origins, uh, Oregon State University. Okay, now this is the part where you get a talk. Why? Yeah, I already said it. <laughs> I forgot what you Well, said. what I said was, sure, he can say that shit after the fact, after he made his fortune off it. Then he's going to give the warnings to the future. Oh, how bad it was for you. Oh, no, yeah. Come on. Just you wait. Just you wait until we read some more and see what really transpired in that speech. Everybody considered Eisenhower uh, a great hero for, for saying such a thing. Uh, right. And I don't remember where, where it is in order, but uh, it will come about. Uh, okay, so uh, you know what, what? What good does your great hero shit do for you when your present is what it is? All your good heroes are just... Uh, <clears throat> that's fertilized. Just, well, not so much that as distractions, so you won't ever look at to what the real truth of it was. You know, well, they got all these people like during World War Two, all this later on in, in the later years, they got everybody crying about the Holocaust. What the Holocaust did was it took the uh, the appearance of what it was really about away and distracted people. And then it gave them a reason, another another fucking reason to be fond of the Jew. You know, another word game played on us like we're a bunch of morons because at that time, all there was was a written word. Film Morons was, and idiots. Yeah, but film was more easily manipulated back then. Now you can have a selfie at you know uh, some brothel in Mexico with a donkey, I suppose, if you want to. You Don't said easily. You. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the word of the day. You, my friend, are a wiener. How, how much did that cost me? Oh, you bet. It's free. I, I told but, you you could say it all you want to. Well, see, but with the speed and... and the way things are moving, the bad guys got to really work hard now to pull off the shit they're pulling off. You know? No, 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 no. You that? That's not true. Who's... They can pull it off in plain sight. Nobody even cares or notices anymore. I, I, so I'm nobody now, huh? I even gave myself a cool name, somebody, and you just took no. it away and Change replaced it. it? Take, no. Replace the S with a uh, <laughs> but. N. And uh, you can be flash nobody. nobody. Yeah, yeah but, G-N-O-M. Nobody. See, that's what I mean, is dissent <laughs> is always mocked, rid even by the other fucking dissenters, because you're a funny guy. Shut are up. You, are you pro-war? Right Did what? You woke up with a, something in your pocket, and now you're a big fucking pro-war advocate? What happened to you, Vincent? Or are you just riling me? To I'm sleep? riling you. <laughs> okay. You didn't Let's go, go to the next uh, next paragraph, then. Okay. Let's go. And uh, we're, we're going to bring some really cool stuff together. Early origins of the military industrial complex comes from uh, Gates Cambridge uh, Multimedia. Origins of the military industrial complex. So I've clipped all this stuff here out of our whole article. And if you uh, care later on when you see the blog, you can, uh, you can read it in, in its entirety. So with that, in the uh, late 19th century, what many scholars call the second Industrial Revolution was uh, transforming societies and economies around the world. Governments relied on anti-espionage legislation. The 1889 Official Secret uh, Secrets Act in Britain and the 1911 National Defense uh, Secrets Act in the United States uh, to classify scientific and technological uh, information as secret for reasons of national security. Thus, the origins of the military-industrial complex and the national security state lie not in the mid-20th century, but in the decades before World War I. If we define the, uh, the military-industrial complex in terms of its scale and performance, that is, but we must instead consider certain uh, 
uh, of its essential dynamics. Its origins are to be found in the decades before World War I. Uh, and in that story, you can find about, about how the uh, torpedo uh, came to play in, uh, in modern warfare. So the origins of the military industrial complex and the national security state, and I li- lie not in the, uh, didn't I already read that? I think I doubled that yeah, in there. It sure sounds enough. like you did. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, double dip. Uh, the origins. That's all right. I'll do it anyways. The, uh, uh <laughs> the origins of the military industrial complex and the national security state lie not in the mid 20th century, but in the decades before war one, uh, Eisenhower for all his alarm may have been too seguine. Uh, in that statement, but uh, a complex uh, brought into being by a particular war like World War II or the Cold War might be expected to end when the war ended. But a complex rooted in world historical forces like global is, uh, globalization, geopolitics and industrialization transcending any single war would not end when a war ended. It would endure and nations at peace would become ever more difficult to distinguish from nations at war. Huh. Well, mission accomplished. That's a good thing, right? War? Oh, yeah. Does it it keep the economy flowing? uh, No, it doesn't, but they tell you it does. They could keep the economy. Ah, fuck you. They tell you all kinds of bullshit stories. We live in la-la land with all this economics crap. Derivatives trillions of fucking dollars and it's bullshit you're, you're being screwed just lay out just just give them a bottle of vaseline so you don't cry so much it's what it is you know what i think i messed up somehow and i lost some of my stuff in my hmm. clipping hmm. oh well well that's it is good, what it is i was on a rant about my negative side of looking at your equation sir Oh, wait a minute. I didn't. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Here it is. I, I just scrolled too far. Oh, uh, there you go. Proceed, Mr. Noah Tall. Proceed. No, 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 no. no. You can't no, buy it, no, Noah Tall. No. It, it's uh, no, no longer available over the counter. Hmm. You will have to see your doctor. Uh, to get some brain your foods. Next bottle of Noah Tall. You like the way they got us all fucking screwed with this medicine shit and advertising, bunch of nonsense that. It's not moral and it's not ethical, but we can fuck them with it so it's legal and we'll do it to make money. I'm the so whole fucking out. tired of this, you know, for profit shit. I'm getting to the point where Mary's at. I was listening to an old show me and Mary did from about four months ago earlier. And she was very upset about a lot of things in her, you know, outlook on the world. Because she wants to be a positive, and I'm not a positive kind of guy so much, you know. I'm more like uh, the opposite of whoever I'm talking to. <laughs> Sometimes, just to have. So a you're giggle. you're not you're not cool then. No, fuck no. But I'll tell you the truth, and usually the truth doesn't interest anyone. So I tend to just have more fun it hurts, telling it stories. Hurts. Yeah. Think about if you didn't know that the money was fake. Just imagine yourself a status voter. You think that Trump's going to save you and uh, da 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 da. And here comes this big mouth guy named Vinny. And he comes in and he goes, Ah, your Federal Reserve notes aren't as good as toilet paper and they're less expensive. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, I got an asterisk next to me. Thank you, Grimner. I know. Uh, he gave you a big old asterisk right on your asterisk. Uh, speaking of asterisk, Woody's picked up some wax. Uh, uh-huh. it's gonna, <laughs> this was going. It's, this one is going to – Oh, uh, it goes to uh, the asterisk anyways. Well, anyway, I brought it up because Mary was disappointed that I wasn't praising the condition the world is in, pointing out all the good and wonderful things that happen. But then when I do – you're bragging because yeah, da, 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 da. so it's you know you, r- reporting the good news for f- people I don't know is not going to ever happen. I don't hear any. I you just had live, the power all along. Yeah, I live, but I live my own. I don't. If I wanted to live in chaos and fighting and shit, I know where to move. <laughs> I could, uh, well, I could go live in some places that would make me very violent. 
Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to end the broadcast. Juana Taco has spoiled the ending in Uh-oh. answering why strangers See need to be See ya. Off. Nice knowing everybody. Bye-bye. Happy Thanks, World War III. Uh, <laughs> he why says, three? because Bob Dylan everybody said, everybody must, must get, get bombed. bombed. Or something <laughs> kind of roughly similar. <laughs> Well, Thank you, Wanda Taco. Thanks for listening, folks. Wow. We'll see you next time on the Dork Table. <laughs> Solve the whole problem. Wow. <laughs> well, actually, I I think the point was made that it it's all about profits for corporations owned by stockholders and supported by voting fucking morons that think they're doing the world a service by picking a particular piece of shit to sit in a particular seat. And that's not how it works. We're being screwed. Oh. All of us equally. Everybody. Nobody's well, winning this fucking game. If you're hearing my voice right now, you're not one of the people that are succeeding. I'll tell you that right now. I want to tell you this. That uh, today, in 1947, the U.S. Air Force was born, separating itself from da, the United da, da, States da. Army. Now what? I don't know. I guess it goes right back uh, to one of Taco. I don't know. The Air Force, another mm-hmm. a, another money making business. I mean, come on, people. We see we're so advanced and so smart and so fucking brilliant that we can't get out of. They're doing this for a profit. That that part does not seem to break through the uh, the d- indoctrination of bombing from the Middle East. The Middle East attacked America. No, they didn't. Never happened. I should have got my harmonica out. I don't know where it is. I'm not going to look for it. Right oh, now. I'm sorry. I was-, I was just teasing you because I got this really weird key out of, I don't know. I found it in a place. It was <laughs> fun. It's fun to play with. When I'm... Uh, what do you call it? Brainstorming, trying to think of something brilliant. <laughs> can you? Uh, uh, lick my heart. Can you? Can you contrast one a taco <laughs> statement with uh, Bob Dylan's of "Everybody must get stoned or everybody must, must get, get bombed." Bomb. No, everybody doesn't get stoned. Only uh, those at the other end of the uh, Palestinians that are being Ooh. bombed. Yeah. Well, I don't. Well, is he talking about rocks or is he talking about? Bombs. I've never encountered a bombing. Have you? You ever been in a bombing? Yeah. Oh, I haven't. I've seen a, I had a, a good ones on TV, but never been. I in had a, a friend uh, that was a pyromaniac. He made bombs and stuff. Oh, you too. It yeah. blow them up. Not me. Yeah. I I didn't witness. No, nothing. I had I a friend. Yeah, same thing. My best friend had a friend, and one day we were about I don't know eleven or twelve. And the crew was going down to the, um, what we called the riverbed, where the overpass was and the tunnels for the military to travel through. Anyway, we used to go down there and play. And one of the guys found an M80. The one day I don't show up. Anyway, so these idiots are fucking with a hammer and something else and smacking it. You know, Eddie Duran couldn't hear for two weeks. Joey blew the tip yeah. of his finger off. And, and I missed all the good stuff. Yeah, they talked about it for months at school. Oh, they were they were legends. <laughs> the stories that you know, because the truth is never as exciting as as the stories that are told about it. When I was a kid, I knew a guy that uh, derailed a train. They wow. came and got him at school, and we never saw him again. Wow, that's some deep shit. Uh, never, in, I've never been that deep into the uh, bad guy world where the cops came and took me out of the school. <laughs> no, I was just trouble. I was like different kind, not cop trouble, just more like a, an annoyance to the school. You'd pick your nose in school in class? No, I'd, I would come and go as I pleased and, I don't know, just not follow rules. But I didn't do, the, like the things that everybody else thought was cool, like smoking out in the field or whatever, I wouldn't even waste I my time. I did that. Uh, I did why? That going to stand in a fucking group with a bunch of dumbasses smoking i nah. i was about the only one smoking at that point in oh. time i started oh. real young yeah. oh uh-huh. yeah you that, well, cool, see, you know? yeah well i wasn't even cool with those kids they were nah they were trouble i had other ideas because I, I was doing, a hood i was, I was a hood and a jock 
Yeah, well, I was neither. I was off running away from home trying to get to Canada. <laughs> well, you finally escaped. Oh, man, my escape from America was a long time in the works. And then I had all those practice runs going to England and Scotland. That was fun. And then the final outcome was Denmark. I went, wow, this is fucking cool, Johnny. I, I feel like I was on a game show and I, and I won. <laughs> you know, hey, let's go here and see what happens. Ta-da. <laughs> did, you won, did you win one or two? Yes. Good. And I don't think there was a third place contestant that, yeah, I won the whole damn thing, whatever it was. I, w I wanted to travel the world, but i only been able to do it via the web traveled all over america still i'm wow that in itself because there's people that are here now that i live among that go to america for a vacation <coughs> and Pardon. they're they're very impressed with the states even in the condition it's in because for one they're not going they're going where the where the living and the money is better you know it's not the poverty level of america but the better side is it is it so, lonely there where uh going where the lonely go aren't you all I alone no i was talking about my neighbor my my neighbors that go to america for a vacation one guy's going to the damn um trump uh flag burning thing in november big patriot hey, thing I worldwide everybody's all excited about the biggest gathering of fucking military in the history or some kind of parade and I'm like, oy vey, why don't you people all just take a cyanide tablet and leave me alone? <laughs> what What does ove mean? Uh, in English? Yeah, I don't, no, it's I a, don't know. In fake, like, fake it's, Jewish. Yeah, well, fake, fake or real or not doesn't really fucking matter. Those people are still doing what they're doing, and they're calling themselves Jews, and the rest of the world is believing <laughs> it, pal. So, you, you know, you can mock it all you want. I know <laughs> the point I'm trying to make. Just because you're not bright enough to pick it up is not my okay. problem. <laughs> okay. Well, there's nothing that you can do about that. Remember, this is Oh, yeah, a there is. Oh, yeah. I do it every course with idiots. I do it every time I go to the grocery store. And other minor miracles. I let the Israeli stuff <laughs> not. I don't buy it. I go, no Israeli vegetables in my trolley. I will not stand for that. No, no, no. And I well, here's our here's our next little uh, blurb, uh, and it is the uh, the so history with my of <laughs> it is the history of the culture of war. Over the past century, state militarism has been greatly expanded and strengthened by its alliance with a major branch of industry, the military industrial complex. As military expenditures have increased, the military industrial complex has become engaged with the state as a powerful lobby for the maintenance and strengthening of military forces and the culture of war that goes with it. There is a particular irony about the, oh, here's the good part. Uh, there is a particular irony about the history of the term in military industrial complex. It was made famous by the farewell speech of American President Dwight David Eisenhower in 1961. The speech was written by Eisenhower speechwriter uh, Malcolm Moose. According to one statement, Eisenhower looked at the draft of his farewell speech and told Moose that, it, uh, that uh, he disagreed with it, demanding that he write another kind of speech. He didn't. Ha. So Ike, like it or not, was stuck from the Culture of Peace info books, history, complex, dot HTML. Okay. So what you're what you're saying to me in my language, you you don't want to hear this. Are you sitting down? Be, 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 be. Oh, Vinny, you're going to be so disappointed. Are you? Have you got a cigarette in your hand? I, if, uh, you, if not, you're going to need one to calm down because I'm going to really. You're going to go. No, you didn't say that. Rip you ready? It. You ready? Rip huh? it. Rip huh? it. Rip it. Okay. Rip it. So here you're telling me in 20 and 18, you're repeating. Something a guy said once upon a time, whether he said it verbally or had it written down, and the original was never mm. seen by anyone. So how do you know that he read anything? Maybe he just talked off the top of his head the whole time. Claimed it go was to, a speech. Go to cultureofpeace.info, the book's oh. historic. Oh, 
You have an or answer. Slash complex. You have an yeah. answer. Okay. You you can read the rest of the story. Uh. I don't want to read the rest of the story. Well, the reason this is so um, no, apropos not right now. is... Well, you read the story. I'm just sitting no. here giving you shit through the story. I, I read what I was going to read of it, but why yeah, it's so apropos... I told apropos. you what I thought about the guy that claimed... He claims, well, this is what they gave me to read. How do you know that? Why do you, Why in the fucking world would you believe a story don't, like that? Don't be an idiot. <laughs> this is my role to play today. Because it's in black and white. It is written. So, it has to be true. Okay, so I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write something. And just because I wrote it, it's true. You already tried that. It doesn't work for you. Wow. Uh, what do you mean? Are you being rude and insulting, Mr. <laughs> Vincent? I'm trying to be. Ah, it's not working. What else you got? Oh. <clears throat> well, you I've gotta, got... Uh... you got to, like, stick your whole hand up your butt and then get it all nice and brown and then we'll negotiate. But, nah, <laughs> you're, you don't even rock me. Uh, you're an uh, amateur. Amateur? <laughs> well, I have, uh, well, I have what else you got? prepared for you then the next, yes. uh, <clears throat> which is uh, taking up the fullness of my page here. Ooh, uh, do bankers in the military industrial complex rule the world? Yes. Thank you. We shall have world government whether we like it or not. The only question is whether world government will be achieved by conquest or consent. James Paul Warburg, whose family <laughs> co-founded the Federal Reserve, yep. and that was while speaking before the United States Senate mm. uh, in February 17th, yeah. 1950. Yeah. Well, and I still think that what you have is is a group of weirdos that dress up in robes and dance around a dead skull at midnight on certain days of the year. Have you ever seen this happen? Can, yeah. Making, I, I watch lots of TV, making all your decisions for you. Nothing else makes sense. You couldn't do this wrong, and this badly, unless it was by plan. Nobody fucks up this much by accident. The worst, stupidest person alive could not create the earth we have right now. This was a group of brilliant con men fucking everybody equally at the same time. You think uh, you think uh, Bush sings dancing in the moonlight? Oh yeah, I believe I've grown. I've seen <laughs> enough stuff to believe that whatever these people do, they do it together, and whatever it is that they do. We're not visually ever going to see it, but we're going to imagine our own version and be guided towards. Yeah, they do this. Yeah, they do Feel that. it. Taste it. Yeah, well, you're going to be guided towards that idea and then still directed to believe a certain thing. It's a hard topic to define on the door table, sir. Well, as uh, Major General Smedley D. Butler said in War is a Racket, War is a racket. He said that. That's probably well, yeah. why he named yeah. the book War is a it Racket. Is. Well, it always you, has been. If you can read and have a, a halfway decent understanding of how life does work compared to how it should work, you would see that these military skirmishes in history have all been the core of the problem. And none of that would ever happen without the fucking bankers financing their shit. Oh, it's yeah. A, We're going to talk some of that, too. It's on down it's the line. It's a fucking here. scam. We're so fucking hustled. I'm telling you, man, from experience, when I meet people from other countries in the country I'm in now, not one of them ever says, hey, you're a fucking warmonger, American piece of shit. They're, you they're are. Very, I'll tell you that. But they're very nice to me. They don't ever bring that part of it up. Never. never. That's because they say it behind your back after you leave. That's okay with me as long as I don't got to hear it. What the fuck do I care? Out of sight, out of mind, by school. You know what I mean? The truth only hurts mm. when you don't hear it or mm. when you hear it. <laughs> well, let me gauge my success in the little <laughs> small me. town that I live in by saying this. When when you go to a, a, a local pub and you know, and you start meeting people and you're buying each other a drink, it's the interaction that, you know, that's it. If you don't get invited in, 
you'll know it right away. But these people, hey, let me buy you a drink. So, you know, in order, you go, hey, let me get you one. So the, the wheel goes around. And you don't I see get, your... Yeah, you don't get on those kind of terms with people if you're not friendly and, you know, know them a little bit. That's how life truly works. And then you share the alcohol. They, you know, public places, you still can't smoke weed here in this town. So in the public eye, I drink the beer. You know, and in the private I, world, I smoke the marijuana. I just got French defied. That looks to me like. What is French defied? I, I don't. I googled diet since I'm Vinny Diet. Oh, Vinny the idiot. Yeah. No, uh, Diot. Vinny Diot. Hmm. It's and like, you know, like like the thing says. You don't nothing, say retard. You say retard. Yeah, but nothing yeah. you know is real. Delivery. But you already know that, right? So your play real. Yeah, your playfulness in life is is uh, it's read differently by other people than mine, and I I see a parallel and a similarity. It's just your your living experience is a little bit less um, unified than mine is because I paired with Cirque. It changes the dynamics of everything. Is uh, is your friend listening? All both of them. No, Hans. Oh, I don't know. Who cares? We're going to do a series called the My Favorite Nazi. Yes, it's live. Oh, that's a ride. Who is your favorite Nazi? Nazi. That's what I said, Nazi. I, yeah, how do you spell that? Just because some of the listeners they may not. N-O-T-S-E-E. -E. Nazi. Because I cannot see what you are talking about. It is elusive. <laughs> You are oh, going see. beyond my wildest imagination with your crazy talk of fiat money and governments being corrupt. <laughs> you know, it's like we, like we sit here for fucking years to just make this shit up, this some kind of stupid story, and just carry it on. You know, it, it never ends. No, this is the the way it really is, and people don't. It would crash their reality if they actually had to stare at it and go, "Wow." We live like that. Ugh. It's disgusting. What a what a stupid question. You know what I liked? I found out about alkaline water on the uh, on the interwebs. Yeah. I, yeah. So yeah. I wrote. A, they yeah. sell it. They sell yeah. it dispensed out of machines. They yeah. also they sell the um, separators. You know the uh, some kind of a drinking capsule. That you put the water in and it I, it does all the work for you, however the right terms are. And they're relatively inexpensive. Don't know how long it's going to last. So I figure I'm going to gonna try one here and, and see what, if there's any difference or not. And report to my worthy people out there in the world of uh, electronic communication and let them know on the RLO that it worked, and if it did, I'm gonna try to define what changed, or if nothing changed, nothing changed. It, if something changed, it raises it raises your pH balance of your body. Mm -hmm. and, right, but you know when might... you're acidic, then that's where uh, disease and sickness uh, thrive, cancer and so forth. Well, right, but here's the weird part. This is what the doctors have always told me: is whatever the hell's with me, I uh, I don't gauge like other people do. I don't register on their meters the way and whatever their normal is. I'm way the fuck off it in one, one direction or the other. And I don't quite hit it. So I'm a little concerned because things don't affect everybody the same way. I'm hoping the water isn't one of those things. Because there are things I react to strongly and I shouldn't. And there are things that don't even bother me. And I, I, they go, wow, that doesn't taste hot. And I go, not really. It's a little spicy. That oh, I like me. I like right. hot food. Yeah, right. And that's what I mean is with that that Szechuan. Mm. Well, we're taught to gauge things by doctors in a fashion that doesn't really work. You know, most of the well, I'll I'll tell you as uh, Major General Smedley D. Butler mm. said mm. about uh, what he was saying. He says that uh, uh, war. Uh, it has always been, it is possibly the oldest and easily, ha, ha, three syllables counts, the most profitable, uh, surety, the most, uh, surely the most vicious. It is the only 
one international in scope. It is the only one in which the profits are reckoned in dollars and the losses in lives. A racket is best described, I believe, as something that is not what it seems to the majority of the people. Only a small inside group knows what it is about. It is conducted for the benefit of the very few at the expense of the very many. Out of war, a few people make huge oh, fortunes. Yeah. The yeah. military industrial, industrial complex has no greater champion than the parasitic institution of banking. And for painfully, obviously, obvious reason, reasons, the staggering amount of money spent on this edifice, more than the net un- income of all U.S. corporations, is exclusively borrowed. Forever mortgaging our children's futures uh, further uh, entrenches the blood-sucking dominance and control that finance uh, exerts over the productive or real economy until finally left unchecked, the parasite kills the host. That's what Bob uh, Kirby said. Hmm. How about that? What do you think? Yeah, uh, yeah well, uh, any Ponzi scheme is doomed, doomed to fail when you cannot... Uh, Continue a uh, continue the uh, the propping up of the. Uh, then the explain LP. the Federal Reserve Bank, Mister Knowledge. Well, uh, in the short, a dollar is uh, is not even worth two cents in value. Uh, I thought it was four. It right Wait, there, it's two. It's yeah, it's t- probably I, wow. It's probably less than two. Well, uh, and, and that's because of uh, you know it's purposeful taxes. inflation and deflation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, that has nothing to do with it right there. That's, the built-in taxes and the freaking inflation the have nothing in, to do it. Jesus built-in Christ. hidden tax, the built-in hidden tax, which is what not hidden? Really, really. If a they're tax. hidden, how come I see them? Then what are you talking about hidden? You bonehead. I'm talking about inflation and deflation. Increase the money supply, and uh, it has less value. Oh, change so, the jibber jabber, and all of a sudden. Uh, something it doesn't hurt as much well what do you i don't get the point it's it's nonsense it's make-believe the taxes. point is on top of your head boy yeah, but it's 98 percent. i thought it was 96 well i don't know exactly but i'm gonna say less than two percent wow well, okay what's your source of information there bosco i think the Look rlm deserve no i think they deserve a link from you mr two percent on your dollar Okay, wow, it's what you do is if that. you'll look at the, the value pre-Federal Reserve of an uh, ounce of gold <laughs> being about $20, $20 <laughs> yeah. in the early 1900s, and uh, look at it now, uh, it's up around uh, 12, 1200 I think it's actually about 1197 at current, and mm-hmm. uh, silver somewhere down around $14 an ounce. Yeah, so, give or take. Right there, the, the true up. value being measured in gold, the mm-hmm. gold is consistent in its buying power. So mm-hmm. uh, a, a penny saved is a penny lost to interest. A penny saved is... <whistles> wow, you're deep. Can I quote you on that one? No. Uh, that That's some quotable shit there, Vincent. We Man, we had to start making like a book of quotes for the RLM members. We you know, got so, it. Whoa! But print one for the general public to read sell them as coffee table things to raise money for Grimner's trip to Vegas yep Grimner deserves a trip to Vegas on the RLM dime by God and country <laughs> probably wouldn't go <laughs> he probably wanted to do something else though uh, yeah, yeah. let's see I what wonder, happens I, I added where, a quote where would you say where would you want to go? Because I'm I'm pretty much burned on all that shit. I've done it all, so I don't really want to go anywhere anymore. And, but I, do you still do? You still get that? Well, let's see what happens if I do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if you could pick a place, what place would just one, right? But you had to come back. Well, we won't even throw a time limit. But you knew you were returning home, so this is something fun. Where would you pick? I'm going to, uh, I always, I've been to Mexico and the frontier several times, but I always want to go in to the, uh, part of Mexico. I, I'd have to probably say that. Wow. Yeah. Deep, well, deep into Mexico. Mexico's got a terrible reputation with America so that the Americans will stay the fuck out of Mexico. <laughs> That's a Gavin proof. Syme yeah. is, uh, P. Well, you know how I butcher names and shit, but I usually got the story straight. There was a Canadian guy that became an American guy 
that left a, he left Canada to America. And now he's in Mexico, and he does he does video links and talks about he's living on the side of a mountain in Acapulco, living a really good life for about three grand a month, and depending on what you do for money. That ah, that's a lot of money. Three okay, grand a month to you. All right, right, right. And I'm just saying, depending on the money that you earn in your business of what you do, that may or may not be. Wow, that's a ton of money. Some people would just are using that much money now to live where they live, and they don't have a cook and a, a maid and a driver. <laughs> this guy does, or at least he's claiming this on the internet. He's making links. I can't remember his name, but I'll talk to you about it again i'll bring it i'll find it all right well uh for your information thank you grim near uh real liberty forward slash 2013 forward slash 10 forward slash rlm uh mm-hmm. quotes database so yeah oh. you can go through and find all kinds of quotes uh, right I'm here doing at real liberty Dork table announcement is over. I posted the stuff over on uh, the uh, RLO, the real liberty dot org. And what it was is I found some new talk show people chatting, really? you know, talking. Uh-huh. And yeah, one of them is a couple that walk their dog and they do a 10 minute chitter chatter about this, that and the other somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes. And they got a dog and a big orange cat. And if you, they even make jokes about that. Ah, some people probably just view just to see what the dog and the cat are going to do, but their delivery is fun. I've been listening to them lately. They're so, so if you're looking for something different and interesting or a giggle, check out bit shoot. There's lots of shit there. Cause, uh, the R, what do you call it? The YouTube's just dying. Yeah, they've uh, they've gotten real good at censoring people. Well, They're I taking don't, people down. Why? 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 Why take I down? I don't know. If somebody's wrong, especially, I want to hear them say more and more and more. Right. right. Expose exactly. their idiocy. Yeah. Well, we don't. We're not the the voting public thinker, Vinny. That's it the doesn't problem. Matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Well, yeah, it sure does. The, sure it the does. delivery of the information you hear is different from the person that believes all that shit. Don't argue with me. I have to. It's my job. It's my oh, calling right. in life. Are you gonna? What, are we gonna uh, switch? I, I drew the short straw. What? Are we gonna? Are we gonna switch? What? What? What uh, tickles your fancy bone for argument today, sir? Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll think of something though. Well, I think you should go get an inoculation so you don't get my kids sick. You fucking idiot. All right. Well, I, I want to continue with this uh, portion here then, oh. and uh, we'll see what you think about that. Oh. Uh, this is actually from uh, Tom Hartman, and uh, you can find this at TomHartman.com. Foreign uh, banksters uh, and military industrial complex rule world, and uh, that will be included uh, in the blog. So where am I at? There he is. After Rob Kirby. Uh, conspiracy theorists say that an Illuminati banking cartel rules the world. Are they right in asserting this? In this post, he will explore what conspiracy theorists and others say about this and the military industrial complex. The above quote is fascinating in part because the Rothschild name is deeply tied to banking and central banks for many centuries. David Allen Revere asserts in the House of Rothschild. No other name has ever been more synonymous with the Illuminati than the Rothschilds. It is believed that the Rothschild family used the Illuminati as a means to achieving their goal of worldwide dominance. Then I pause. Yes, and you paused. And yeah, I'll pause. Then while well, I come to some, some famous quotes of them, central bankers then. Well, some people think, okay, I'll hmm. stop. Yeah, well, let let me interject something, because most of this stuff doesn't really affect me in a way that I can constantly be aware of, you know, world dominance and war and this product. I'm living a little rural place, so my, Mm -hmm. my, uh, my shopping and my buying whatever I want days are finished. I'm isolated. So I I have to choose from whatever they supply here. You have to choose, man. Well, there's there's the illusion of choice, even in milk. No, no, no. I mean, come on. Not choice, choose. Yeah, but 
there's you know there's different kinds of this and different kinds of that to appease different tastes but it's not like being at walmart where there's 20 million kinds of shit in in this deal there's actually a percentage of this stuff that's good and they let you know which one is which so if you choose to not give a shit about whether your food is uh, organic or not then you can nobody cares you got your choice it's right there written on the fucking products eel umi yeah nutty. they don't they don't play that labeling game here that they played in america with the gmos i found that quite refreshing yeah i like uh i like my uh glycophate on the on my oatmeal yeah hey, but Hawk. see th- the nice part about it, living in a socialist kind of setting, though, is they got rules, and these people, they have to follow them. They don't have a choice to, def- well, I'll just break the fucking rule. Not those kind of rules. We're not Wait a talking about Hold on, sm- I forgot something. Well, Be right back. Right. But we're not talking about smoking in a bar, some p- pissy little thing that's just to generate some extra money. I mean, like the supply of your milk or your eggs or your chicken or whatever food group you're in, okay. your breads and whatnot. Well, all that stuff's got dates on it, and <clears throat> you know they tell you they tell you you've got so much time to eat this product before it's not edible. Are you ready? Yeah, I was just killing time with explaining the good side of living in the little rural place I do. <laughs> Hey, we also... Hey, 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 I'm bragging. I'm bragging here, buddy. I'm bragging. You better hurry because you got less than one minute. There it is. Too late. (laughs) 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 Wow. (laughs) I was bragging about the Danish that I've learned to read because of familiarity. Don't lie to me. You don't well, it's not like I can pick up a newspaper huh. and, and or open up huh. an, in, an internet Danish site, but I can pick up the products now, and you know just the film familiar from using it all this time, and I go oh yeah that but I can't say it in Danish but I can read it in English, and that, Ethan, I've seen, I've seen Ethan. and that will always make my wife laugh as long as I don't do overkill, do it too much, you know. Like every couple years, I pick a word and then I play that word. We're we have about, this too. We're about ready for a new word in Denmark. Yeah, here's your new word. I wait. Today. I I butchered um, what and I butchered uh, oatmeal. What would what would translate, I guess, to a porridge or oatmeal? And I butchered <laughs> both of them really good. That everybody got a good giggle out of it. Because of the, the rules, because of the rules of the language that I don't know, so I read it in, in English and it's funny as fuck. Compared to Danish, because then you go, oh, wow, who knew you didn't use a D? <laughs> who knew, indeed. Yeah, well, here's D something is that you, yeah. Who knew? Here's something you may or may not know. Uh, <laughs> real dot video for cha- uh, slash channel forward slash real liberty media. Well, that's right. We have. Oh, wow. Our own little spot over there at Real Video. Wow. You can get a HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash www dot before all that. Yeah. Does that wow. make Wow. So are, we're like all. Wow. Hold on. Talk. Please. Rough. 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 Oh, rough. No, just Hannah saying to say everybody. No, say she, was, she was yeah. saying Dakota, Gooberzilla, and Gromit. Hello. Yeah, she was in the the G's to the. <laughs> Hannah gets excited. Anyway, you were saying, sir, I got yeah, distracted my, by my, my pooch. My, my niece's name is Hannah. Hey, Grim. You know what? Gr- I brought this up. Uh, Bitshoot Grimner says Bitshoot is nice. <clears throat> yeah, it's small and it's you know it's a startup. Just but the smaller things are. They're more. They're more fun when they're small, and there's more interaction. The bigger it gets, the more Facebook shit becomes. And then everybody just wants you to look at pictures of their fucking lunch. I think that's yeah, Corbett is in on the uh, on that. Corbett? Yeah, I think you know, the Corbett report. Uh, or that guy, Media Mark, Monarchy. He, I think he's part of the uh, the uh, head heads up the team over there. Oh, the brains behind the great 
thing. There. Well, they yeah, they'll they'll do like everybody else does when it gets real big. They'll sell it out to uh, somebody like Yahoo or Google or well, whatever. That's, that's why I got RLM. <laughs> yeah, no and it's what, uh, it, wait wait no it, see this is like hanging out with a band in the seventies, right? Is if the band makes it, you go too, and a lot of people did that shit. Uh, yeah, and then you try to get a backstage pass, and I don't know this. No, dude. no, I mean your friends, your inner circle of the band, and if the band gets famous, well, you go where the band goes if you want to. That's just kind of how reality works. I mean, you don't unless you're really a fucking piece of shit. You stay loyal to your friends. Oh, you know what? That's why I got this thing out right here. I forgot. I was gonna have this ready. And uh, we're just going to do a count. Every time you use the F word, oh, you're you going get one to of those. Gung me. Oh, no, no. That's yeah. just a, like a bell counter. Let me try to oh, do this with uh, you know, I, something I thought that holds it. Like I've been trying try to like think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Wow. I dropped it. It didn't work. You sound, you sound like a like a sheep herder out in Ireland or something. Stop it. Anyway, I found a way to combat the criminal, the criminally, the the clinically indoctrinated. You want to hear it? Take about 10 seconds. Okay. Cure, cure them all. Ready? Sit down. Yeah. Grab your I'm, cup. Okay. All the person has to do is find something that brings doubt and start there. And if you can talk yourself into, no, I'm, there's nothing to doubt. Well, then you're still a status. Keep going. But if you find that one thing that you doubt and you start taking a good look and see clearly what what's behind that whole doubt might open more doors you never know look what it's done for grimner or, or uh, I, my favorite grimner rob works uh jeez grammy java cowboy i could name the whole damn room Mary what a B. pig well yeah but pit. i mean pit how do you mean not you i said what a pig who judge dread why? What did he do now? Are you paying attention to that monkey? Yeah, Poor I'm looking guy. at chat. Oh, okay, he does. Yeah. Is he? Is he being his self? Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. No shit. When it, he's got nothing, in, he never. He's always like that, though. Poor guy. Uh, you know, he's our resident Nazi. I'm telling you. I, they should buy him a new towel at work. He he must be getting pissed off having to use the same old tired, dirty rag. You know, mm. cleaning those tables is just a, <laughs> such a drag without a nice clean rag. <laughs> uh. Hey Grimner, uh, tell, just talking to you. Would you like to read that? Grim, yeah, he says, "Flash somebody, bit shoot, maybe small." But he misspelled your we name. Get, oh, that's okay. No, he didn't. Yeah, Are you it's insane. We you may, take the S O M E for N um, O. Oh, shut up! <laughs> but we get ten times the views on BitChute of videos mirrored from YouTube. Yeah, well, YouTube is so big, though, Grim. Too, you got to weigh that into your your equation. There's millions of choices to choose from, and then the rhythms that run your search machine are gonna guide you to certain things that it wants you to see. See now, BitChute runs on a, a like a BitTorrent, and uh, so it's like using your computer. And whenever I go there, it takes forever for anything to load. With this really? oh. stupid little computer I got, yeah. So oh, okay. I, I haven't That's been great. going to uh, to uh, BitChute. I I do have a uh, um, a channel over there, and then uh, I haven't mm -hmm. posted anything over there for a while. Upgrade, Vincent. Upgrade. We well one day. I think uh, um, this next month I'm going to. Uh, uh, pull water out of the ground and bring it to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, okay. I have uh, outflow, but now I need my inflow. Ah, for, so you're for water. Up, upgrade your life. Yeah, wa that way. Water, that's what I started out with. This alkaline water thing has got my interest because it makes sense. I mean, as we age, we go from eighty percent, you know, water. Our body is eighty percent water, and as you age, it can be as little as sixty. But that's still a lot of water to maintain. And, you know, like if you leave a bucket of water out in the backyard, it starts to gather shit and get a film and get all colorful, <laughs> starting to look like the laboratory experiment. 
And you go, wow. And I drink that shit from a tap. Holy fuck, what am I drinking, Batman? You need to add more chlorine and fluoride to your no. water. I, see, that's what I mean. I want to get all the way from all of that shit, man. All of it. And so what I found through the alkaline water links that I did find, the explanation seems to be if you do it like this, you'll feel better. So there's a big problem to have. Okay, I'm going to try it. And after I try it, I'm going to go, hey, Vinny, it worked. Or hey, Vinny, nothing happened. See what happens. But I'm going to be my own guinea pig by God and country. Not going to experiment on the American public. No, no, no. Good for you. David Allen Rivera asserts in the house of Rothschild, house no of other Rothschild. name has been become more synonymous with the Illuminati than Ooh. the Rothschilds. We read that. Oh, yeah. I, I skipped down one. We, we read that one. I did. Yeah. You listened. So maybe famous that's quotes. All the story too. Famous ah, quotes. Famous, 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 famous quotes on Central Bikers. Were you for some of these? No, I've. I've read and they're heartbreaking because people don't believe this is the fucking truth and it's spoken by the fucking thieves that took the money from you it, it well you do what you want very apropos because some people I'm think that the federal sad. reserve banks are united states government institutions they Suckers. are private monopolies which prey upon the people of these here people. united states is this for the benefit of themselves and their foreign con customers, foreign and domestic speculators and swindlers and rich and predatory money, li money lenders. Right. Hmm. But the average Joe public's been blindsided with all this other secondary bullshit like um, celebrity sports. And think about it. If you have a decent living, all the rest of this shit doesn't matter. <laughs> all that matters is that you have your decent living. The high cost of living ain't nothing like the cost of living high. Ah, uh, you say it so well, to Vincent. Yeah, but, Jamie, something that's a song. But reality still exists in the world, and the half that have, they're gonna as long as they outnumber the half that don't. There's always wow. Oh, that was a good bell. Like I like stop that. It, one. Let's do that bell, one. You bell. Wow, you're just a round bell. two coming up. <laughs> Vinny is doing the the audio version of the Hunchback of Notre Dame in sign language. In the far corner, wearing blue shorts, pulled up to his neck. No hitting below the belt. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a fair fight, man. That's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Grimner says the alkaline water has no benefit. So I'm going to find out. By <laughs> I, I, I don't for, agree with that at all. Uh, yeah. Don't agree with what? What was what, what Grimner just said. I think well, there's don't. plenty of benefit. Well, you, see, that's the beauty of the fucking argument, man. It doesn't matter as long as you're arguing. That's the point. I've made a point of this 100,000 times, and I get left out for this. You know what? I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to turn it back to you. I'm going to do this. Ooh, see what happened. Somewhere. See what happened. I got slapped there. on my water theory. So, but we'll yeah. we'll find out in the next week or ten days. I'll get one. I got to get it through the internet because they don't sell them in the local stores. So it can't be that big of a swindle, or they'd be selling them in the retail outlets. They they sell Everybody them in, can in be cities here. Yeah, you oh. can go. They got whole stores dedicated just to the alkal uh, alkaline water. Oh, you go there and buy water. Vincent, you can have I, it delivered. I have the the only wife in the history of my existence that doesn't like to shop. Don't she does not like to? I never met a woman in my life, let alone married one, that doesn't like to shop. Women like to shop, not my wife. So even though I could say, "Hey, sir, you want to go get me one of these things in Copenhagen?" She go. Really? <laughs> I've got to back up and chat here. What's what happening? You're not do? keeping us advised, my friend. Uh, of what? No. What? Uh, what's all going on over here? Oh, the article. Well, I'm sorry, Grim. I'm doing live. I'm not as good as you with the reading and stuff. So if I made you feel bad, I didn't mean to. I was just reading what I saw, and if I fucked it up, well, there you go. 
You're a big boy. You can handle it. But yeah, he clears that up by saying himself, I didn't say alkaline water had no benefits. I, the article did. Yeah, I haven't read the article. I will open. Let me open a cop, copy of this fucker. So I've got do legitimate that. proof of his. Uh, well, well, shit. I well, you do him. that. Let me catch no. the chat up. Cowboy yeah, says, I'm a traveling reporter on the scene, kind of like the streak reporter. Vin Idiot. Uh, That's me. Vin uh, Idiot. So you wear it well, my friend. Vinny Idiot dongs his ding. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and there's the alkali uh, water that uh, he's uh, Chloe's giving you. And uh, Chloe, Washington Examiner, uh, Russia can't blame Israel over its aircraft loss. Uh Blame. And that's all we got, right? You know, that's all we got. We weren't there. We didn't see it. We weren't involved. We're getting third-party information. Jump aside. Blah, blah, blah. And I always do. Fuck Israel. The Jews did it. Is, is Chloe <laughs> listening? I don't know. I thought she was fighting with Hansel on the RLM for a minute. But I didn't read it. It was kind of mean. I don't know. I don't know why Hans has to be like. And he, that's his childish. Yeah, he, he left. He's gone. Oh, good. Yeah, boy. Yes. Wow. Yeah, Chloe, because, I mean, Christ, I gave you a hard time, but that, that childhood freaking, what, name-calling crap of your mom, your dad, all that nonsense is stupid. I don't really like it. I call adult adult to his fucking adult face if I could, but won't do radio with us. Ah, he's back! Wait. It's back! There she one more. The Honorable Lewis McFadden, chairman of the House Banking and Currency Committee in the 1930s, says the American people ever allow private banks to control the issuance of their money, first by inflation and then by deflation. The banks and corporations that will grow up around them, around the banks, will deprive the people of their property until their children will wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah, but like you said, in the, you know, uh, the people know one story, and the truth is always something else. Or was that me that said that? Hmm. No, I, us, I made a big mistake. That that uh, that was attributed to Thomas Jefferson and the uh, Honorable Lewis oh, okay. Fadden. He says well, uh, that he was the one talking about the some big, uh, pe people think that the Federal Reserve banks are the United States uh, government institutions. Yeah. You you know why they they do all that celebrity there bullshit there, Mister Vincent? Because got, it makes you feel theory. good. No, because it makes it easier to believe a story when you're looking up in awe at somebody that's so wonderful. Yeah. You know, and when you when you break life down into everybody's the exact the fucking same, and the story might prop somebody else up, but you ne if you never <laughs> saw it with your own eyes, you just believe in a story. That's um, that may be a pessimistic view to hold, but that's where I've gotten to. You know, if I well, didn't see it, it didn't fucking happen until it affects me. Then it may have happened. Yeah. It saves well, me all that I, I'm going to have wait. to change my name. I'm not done with my rant. It saves me Go. a ton of money at Christmas. And, uh, well, anyway, probably out, I'll probably outlive all you bastards. <laughs> So, Ooh, Cowboy Ted. Wait, I want to read this. He says, okay. Hands reminds me of Dr. Smith in Lost in Space. Oh, Aye. that's bad. Wow. <laughs> William. Wait, how did that, <clears throat> that guy had a really weird voice, too. Kind of like, like, I don't know. How do you explain Mr. S Dr. Smith? Hmm. That's Danger where the Will quote, Robinson. Danger, Danger Will Robinson, yeah. Yeah. Danger, Will Robinson. But, yeah, the illegal banking. All you got to do is say illegal banking and a voter ain't listening anymore. They don't well, want to hear it. Don't even the, well, understand what you're saying. The what real truth of the matter is, as you and I know, that yes. a financial element in the large centers uh, has owned the government of the United States since the days of Andy Jackson. Oh, History maybe, depicts yeah, Andy Jackson as yeah. the last truly be Truly honorable and corruptible American president. That's what Franklin D. Delano Roosevelt said. Not Roosevelt. Come on, let's let's get with the English on this and get the pronunciation of Roosevelt. FDR. 
Well, Archie yes, Bunker thanks. would say Roosevelt. He's wrong. Oh, he's well, right. Then Roosevelt. He's wrong. No, he's because Roosevelt, not Rose. R O S E. Roos. Rose. Velt. R O O. It's R O O S E, you moron. Yes. Get up. Roosevelt. Get up. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not yeah, Roosevelt. It's Roosevelt. Right. I'm agreeing with you, you moron. Sit tight. It's not going to happen very often. <laughs> Don't don't let this go to your heart and get all excited bless, and have a bless stroke. Your heart. Well, bless your heart. Well, I only tell you the truth, Vinny. Even if, if it scars our friendship forever, I'm still going to tell you what I think. So be careful of what you ask me because I tell you. And then I'll Good. Laugh. Okay. I got to pause and come back to chat so I can prepare. Uh-oh. Uh, He's going to prepare for the war that's upcoming between us because we're going to disagree. T minus T minus one minute <laughs> and counting. Yeah. So you you like your Federal Reserve Bank, huh? I'll tell you this: if I ran a business the way the fra fractional reserve system operates, I would probably be in prison inside of thirty fucking days. It'd be the fastest jury, and I'm practicing for next week. Oh, okay. But it would be the fastest court case in the history of finance. Too bad they don't just tell the truth. Well, if they told the truth, I don't I don't know if there's enough population intelligent enough to understand the truth. Cuz the truth has been so clusterfucked for so long. But it's been ridden by every cowboy in the range, if you know what I mean there, Roscoe. I think Vinny's uh off doing his thing over there. No, the I'm well, right here. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. I, I I'm sitting here patiently out. waiting for a public There it is. There it is. Oh, opening bell! It is 4:20 somewhere. <laughs> wow! You know, the more you hang out here, the more dorky you get. Yeah, I'll blame yeah, it on when you, you. You weren't very dorky when you first sat down for Mary at the dork table, but beep, beep, beep. now I'm telling you, sir, you're a fucking, you're like a full-blown dork with a with a little nerd from Sundays. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, you're you're no geek. Uh, no, mm. no geek. No. So, but you have nerd nerd dork, but not nerd dork geek, which is the ultimate trophy at the dork table. Here is uh, here is controversy over the size of the military budget. It comes from open.lib.umn.edu forward slash sociology forward slash chapter forward slash 13 dash five, the military industrial complex. Wow. Oscar Arias, a former president of Costa Rica and winner of the 1987 Nobel Peace Prize, echoed Ooh. President Eisenhower when he wrote a decade ago that U.S. military spending took money away from important domestic needs. Americans are hurt, he warns, uh, when the the defense budget squanders money that could be used to repair schools or uh, to guarantee uh, universal health care uh, areas, 1999. Cost equivalents uh, illustrate what is lost when so much money is spent on the military. An F-22 uh, fighter aircraft conceived and built to win fights with aircraft at the Soviet Union and later Russia never built cost about $350 million dollars that's from smith in 2009 this same sum could be used to pay the salaries of about 11,700 new teachers earning 30 grand per year or to build 23 elementary schools at the cost of 15 million dollars each a nuclear submarine can cost at least 2.5 billion dollars this sum could provide 500,000 scholarships worth 5,000 each to low and middle income high school students to help them pay for their college. Uh, $5,000 isn't going to go very far. Well, how far did you think it was going to go? Uh, all the way to the end. But two cents on the fucking dollar. You're, mm -hmm. you're done before you get out of the parking lot. Please. Mm -hmm. you, you can't even pay your car insurance with whatever that's worth. Mm -hmm. Well, I you know, know John F. Kennedy. Yeah, he gave us uh, the last warning speech to the world. Uh, his yeah. uh, last warning speech to the world. Yeah, and yeah, he tells us uh, about 
secret societies and uh, other things. You can well, listen right, to it. But, you know, see, it's easy to bamboozle the public. For some reason, they'll listen to religious stories and they'll listen to historic tales or political stories. But when you put the truth to a particular story, they don't want to. They don't want to debate it. They just want to stand firm ground on what they already know. You following me along the dotted lines there, Vincenzo, or am I yes. confusing you? Your I, do, I, I do not bite the heads off of chickens. Oh, you're I'm reading not, the chat. I got I'm you. I'm not okay. a geek. Yeah. That's all Thanks. right. Hey, Anti's uh, posting up uh, for... Mm. is a radio show shortwave uh saturday night i, I figured oh. out how he's not come over here and and jack that over here to uh, real liberty media well he just said he was going to figure a way to get this page into a sub menu for radio shows i love subs i'm very i want to do a separate page for the tuesday shows um i suppose i don't not quite sure what he means by separate page for the two I'm not the computer guy here. But will somebody interpret that, Mr. Vincent? Hmm. Mm, somebody will, but not me. Oh, wait. He says he can host, but he's only got three gigabytes. Aha. So that's got some nerdy thing going on over there. Grimner probably knows what he's talking about anyway. I don't need to know that stuff. I'm a guest on the RLM. Well, I'm a tech tart, so don't ask me. You're, oh, well, we knew that. She's, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with not being uh, capable of understanding every fucking topic known to man. You know, so there's a weak spot and you don't quite grasp a whole fucking subject. So what? Probably not really interested in it anyway. But the things that people do good, those are the things that they know a lot of shit about. Not the things they don't do good. <laughs> You know, it's like, uh, wow, cooking. I can cook a f meal and all that crap and follow directions in a book and all, but I don't have the uh, ability to just go into the kitchen and just start throwing shit together out of nowhere and make a meal. Really? No, nah, I know a lot of people in my life, they can do that. They go, wow, there's nothing to fucking eat. And they go, where's your fridge? And 15 minutes later, there's a fucking meal out of just what was left oh, around yeah. in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't seem to be bothered to do stuff like that. I could do that. Right, right. So I mean, different interests for different people. You know? And you can't expect everybody to be as good at what you're at because they might have completely <laughs> different interests. You know? And we're not taught to appreciate each other for the shit that we don't agree about. We're taught to argue about it. And change the other guy's mind or... Some shit like that. It's a, it's a fantasy. I'd change your mind, but that's a dirty job. You damn right. Do. You'd have to bring a shovel too, boy. <clears throat> What's wrong with you? Two choose. Yeah. Well, one of us is going to be digging a hole, unless we two, killed each other. And two choose upon know. your feet. That would be kind of a messy, horrid thing for Cirque to have to deal with. Let's Foot not loose. do the violence thing then. <laughs> Okay, I'll kill you let's later. Just, yeah, let's just smoke a couple pipe loads and not worry about it. And with that mentality, that's the mentality I've carried my my most of the last 20 odd years. Do you have a woman mentality as well? <laughs> Fuck you, Vinny. Oh, yeah, you're a very funny guy. I don't know. Let me check my crystal ball. Mm. Nothing on my sleeve. Crystal. Vinny, it's hey, all... Hey, Rocky, I, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. I know, but it's it's all whatever I want it to be. I mean, if I went insane and thought I was uh, Napoleon and was insane running around thinking I'm Napoleon... But I am what, Napoleon. <laughs> right. But who who gets hurt from that? As long as that's my crime. is I, I've gone insane and refused to be spoken to unless you're speaking French and you call me Napoleon. <laughs> or Italian, I don't know. He was born Italian. So how he got to be the emperor of France. I think uh, he was exiled to the Isle of Elba. But uh, I think he was born maybe in Corsica. 
I read he was. I re- see. You read this. You read. That's why I'm saying. Uh, yeah, you take it or you leave it. You know how how hard do you want to fight over a third party story that may or may not ever have happened in the first place? They're good stories, but I don't know. It's 214 countries. Fuck it. Everybody's got a history. Why did he put his uh, hand in his shirt like that? Uh, because he couldn't reach his nuts and it was embarrassing. He had short arms. <laughs> give, me my, give me my donger. <laughs> you get another one. That one counts. <laughs> Why? You don't think... Sh- Why? Okay. Never mind. You give the weirdest shit so much consideration. You must be crazy. Crazy. But, you know that's... Crazy if, if you go, go ahead. into a... I'm just singing you know, over you. What? Yeah. If you go into Set a it. Bank of America to pay your mortgage in cash... Then they ripped me off. I wouldn't do. The, I wouldn't walk into Bank of America for nothing. Well, I'm just trying First to make of all, a point, Vincent. Your point is on top of your head, dog. But the bank can you that. refuse your cash payment for a mortgage. Refuse it. Doesn't work that way. You can't put that money in to pay that bill. Hey, my squirrel's out there eating peanut butter. So hey, they look Annie, so fat and healthy. Squirrel. Who own? Who owns Grammy. the money that you use? Uh, not me. Well, who owns it? I would say the Federal Reserve owns it. Dude, ding, 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 ding. Only I did my ding, ding without the bell. Yeah, exactly. But the natural idea that we're raised with, the thing that's common in, in knowledge is, if it's in your pocket, it belongs to you. And that's true to a point. And what if Anti's listening? Uh, say he's typing in the room. I don't know, but it says uh, it says there, you know, in God we trust. Right there on your money. It's not the, it's that's a different God. Why? Because God in this case stands for guns, oil, and drugs. How do you know? The petrodollar. Well, I well understand enough of history and how it all works. <laughs> So we're going to see if he admit it. Uh, Chloe didn't answer my question if she's listening. she I don't think she listens anymore because you're a potty mouth. Did you die? I, I, wished, I wish her the best in her recovery. You know, because if, so, um, if you're so isolated in life that a few dirty words rock your life, then you got bigger problems than that. That's really? just a symptom of your insanity. And you probably should seek medical help. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I didn't do? What? Is, uh, no. no, he's not listening. Uh, okay. No, he says, no, I've been AFK until just a little while ago. So he had to hurt it. You didn't type it, did you? No, he didn't hear. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. You typed I, it. I typed he's anti-listening. It, yeah. uh, so I guess uh, he's not listening to our wonderful arguments about life. Yeah. Let me go Life. Google this uh, McFadden and see what happened to him. Uh, seems like he might have been uh, assassinated, if who? I can remember right. Who? Who, who, who? McFadden. Who? Who's McFadden? McFadden. He's the guy I was talking about. Oh. Voted from 1930. Uh, oh. Senate uh, McFadden. Committee on Banking and Finance. Oh, that kind of shit, yeah. The truth will see. set you free and you can go meet your Lord. That's for sure. I want to see what happened to him. But it's going to take yeah. him. Well, good. You enjoy your search. And if I record the damn shows on my tablet, I have to play them back analog into a real computer. So playing with some streaming recorder software at the moment. That's anti. He's keeping us posted on the RLM about his progress in his recording situation. How's that, that's Breaking awesome. my, news from the RLM. My, That's right. My my, uh, my squirrels look fat and happy. Hey, and he got through that hurricane thing okay. So you yeah. know what I read today into the uh, interwebs, Mr. Vincent? What happened? Well, 30 miles up the road from where I was in the North Carolinas is a little town called Wilmington. And geez, They're I cut off. The water. Yeah, Ash all the roads is, are... Yeah. Yeah, you you can't get to, her in or out. I used to go there for breakfast, for crying out loud, years ago. 
when I was uh, in the Jacksonville metropolis. So, yeah, it's not a very far drive down the road. Hey, if so, you and I were there together, we could play a game. It's like we could drown, uh, hold, drown yeah, the corner. Yeah. No, hold, just hold your head you underwater. Sit on them and I hold your face bowls. under the water. No, you. Oh. Me? We're gonna hold, yeah, I'll hold your oh, head the underwater. Fuck you are, like hell you are. I'd be grabbing you by the throat and not stopping until I smell shit. What are you, crazy? You attacking me on the radio, you crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? I, oh, I, think I was right. Yes, I'm right, it's but I got to open. Octune radio? What? Octune. There's no such thing as Octune radio. That's Attention. groomed or playing a fucking Octone. joke. Octune. So that is a Facebook link, and I don't want to open it up because it'll bother Oh, he's computer. asking. Okay, they're asking questions of seriousness on their Real Liberty media chat. Yeah, Grimner. Well, Grimner's got a pretty good knowledge for the internet. If he says he knows something, I believe him. He's not just saying, "Well, I think this will work." <laughs> That's my job. I'm the guy that goes, "Well, let's try this and see what happens." <laughs> not so much with the G-Man. He's yeah, a little I would more deep not... rooted in it. Yeah, I would expect that shit from you though, because you're funny. You might <laughs> just tell me. You might just give me advice on the internet just to see if I'm stupid enough to try it and fuck my whole computer system up. <laughs> I'm not I don't, like that. Yeah, you I are. Hate, I hate hackers. Why do people you, do that, man? You're a very mean man. Everybody knows how mean you are. Who All killed Louis McFadden? I don't know. Did you do it? Nope. I uh, haven't but murdered anybody I was right. He was assassinated. Life. I've wanted to, but I've never actually you know, sat through and thought it through and then done it. No. It's too far. I got as far as... Boy, I could fuck you up, and then I stop and reason it. Wait out, a minute, hold know. on. Let me get my donger. Yeah, we're practicing for next week. Every time you f bomb, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you. Yeah, because then we'll prison, count them up. Be a drag. So I don't want to do it. And I, if a requirement of not living in the prison is not killing you, I, I can handle it. <laughs> it's not wow. a big deal. I think I could do that. You know, it's amazing how easy it is to not kill people. It's almost like breathing. You just go, hey, I'm not going to kill you, my friend. And they go, cool. <laughs> Another day. Because we all live in fear of being murdered by strangers. Oh, so not murdered by your friends that know you that, you know, you might not treat all that well. But, yeah, a total stranger. You never fucking saw this guy in your life. But he's a wackadoodle and he's got a knife and he's going to kill you. That's what we're taught. Did Here's you know a. That? This is a. Did you good, know that? Uh, I'm asking you a question, Mister. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you never seen a movie like that? Come on, you've seen them. Uh, they bait uh, us and they show us the fear and the the horror, the stranger that's gonna come and get you. You know, not not the teacher at school, <laughs> but. Speaking of teachers at school, boy, they get some of those kids very young with the penetration. You know what I mean, senor? Mm. The teachers and the penetration with the students, you know, in the bed, doing the, you know, the thing in the bed. Mm. Huh? Yeah, they do that with the teachers. That's what school is for. So you can go to learn where to fuck. Or maybe it's I got a fuck. dog. Yeah. But you can't do it unless you're doing it. Hmm. I'll think about this one. <laughs> You uh, probably need to. Alt F4. Now, see, there Push you it. go. I don't want to. Push it real know. good. See, now I'm scared. Now you well, I'm, got, I'm very scared. I'm all paranoid on my marijuana thinking, what kind of crazy shit are they trying to get me to do? <laughs> I'm a non-trusting old fella. <laughs> I'll add anyway. this without commentary. I'll, I'll still try to find out uh, when he is assassinated. But I was right. Louis McFadden was assassinated. Here's a wow. arty compass dot blogspot dot com. Uh, who killed, yeah, who uh, killed Thomas Lewis, McFadden? Lewis Thomas McFadden. Yeah. Well, he's I, got a I, cool name. Yeah, they called him. His good friends called him LT. Yeah, he must not have been a Jew though. Must have been like French. He was very anti-Jewish. Uh, French, or uh, and French, according to this article French, here, Irish, French, or maybe French and Scotch. Scott. 
Yeah, you don't. Uh, yeah, no. you're not. You drink scotch. You, you, one is not a scotch. Ah, one is a scotch. Yeah, I know. I I live there. Those people, they deserve my wrath. I am descendant of those folks that uh, are from oh, there. So fuck you. And, and you're not getting you off scot free. I don't care. I'm not paying the bill either. So is there a loss of the looter? But nugget. I say to you, you send me a bill, I pay it in fiat currency. Bet you I never see a bill. This is an excellent <laughs> article. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to talk details about finance, Mister. <laughs> we know secrets to the game that when you tell other people about it, they think you're making shit up. You know, and you'd think that would be a bad thing, but actually, it just makes it that much easier to do what we do. What is that? Uh, this, what's in the details? What's that the saying? The devil oh, is in the, the details. The devil's in the details. The I've devil, used that. Yeah. I have used well, that. Well, it depends. Yeah, if you play that duality thing like you do, sure. I think life is uh, just a checkerboard, you know, and we're being moved around like pieces on it by powers we can't define because you can't see it. It's done in ways that do not explain easily. Through yeah, the yeah, 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 you through said the easily. Fuel, yeah, through the fuel systems that we use every day. Every day, not every other day. Every day. Because we all have to eat and we all have to drink the fucking water. But see, that's and where that's... McFadden made his mistake. He ate at the banquet where he was a poison after previously uh, uh, not being <laughs> killed by two bullets, uh, bullets fired at him on one occasion. Yeah, and then they fi you finally get, yeah, sure. Well, you know, there you go. But who wants to be that important in life that other people want to murder you to shut you up? Me. Oh, Mr. Vincent. Yeah, but you got so many witnesses now. I don't know. You know, it's you're kind of in a weird way more visible than some of the public figures because they live in secrecy with bodyguards. And, they sure and, do. You know, within circles of other circles. So you can't really get to them. You have to be allowed to get that close. And you go through layers of security that encircle each circle is encircled by another circle. Are you talking about uh, your circle? No, I live, I live in the love. The love does not bring the death. Not by bullet. <laughs> so, nah. I don't need all that shit. I can, oh. I can, I can freely walk wherever I go. Always have, and uh, outside of the United States of America, and during the last, like the '90s, up until the '90s, not so much. Just occasionally would I get bothered by the the police or whatever, and the '90s came along and just slammed that door. Just whoosh, police intervention on everything. All of a sudden, they're always checking you for something. So that's I went, like what, that's a wonderful th thing. Thirty years without, you know, what police? Yeah, <laughs> it always happened to somebody else or a fluke, like a, when I got pulled over on my dad's uh, on his trike. But not any physical crap I was doing. I've never been arrested as an adult for smoking pot, as an example. But then again. The times that I'll choose to be public about it, I am familiar with the area. I know people. It's not like I just walk down strange streets I've never been on before smoking weed. Because, at you know, that kind of logic, you don't know who you're going to attract. But if you do it where you're comfortable and you know people, it's different. Well, that kind of common sense seems to be evading people now. They're not as... They're not in tune because they're always on the fucking phone. There's one I'm not going to cover, but it's going to be included in the a, a, a blog. Uh, Joshua what? Martinez, North Las Vegas PD, uh, first minute audit. Uh, Josh Whoa. is a, a friend of mine in Vegas. Uh, I, I filmed him. Um, I stood witness for him, and uh, he's blocked me on Facebook. Uh, I guess... Two, two reasons, because I oppose Gavin Symes' idiocy of feminine police, uh, and uh, because I, I said uh, I had uh, garnered some respect for uh, M.D. Lauder, and her, uh, she's an FBI informant, but listen, as I said in 2014, uh, these idiots trying to get me to come around and sign up their sheet and, and be a part of something, I, I ain't here to 
you know, switch masters, you know, uh, not at all. And, and if anybody doesn't think that they're uh, being a witness against himself and their words and deeds, uh, and you have to worry about uh, an in, um, a, uh, a infiltrator or informant from the FBI, that's how they work. Uh, you better know it now. So guard your words and uh, uh, don't be a witness against yourself. Uh, Josh, he's a he's a wonderful guy. I really like Josh. Um, hmm. he, he is a very kind and soft spoken person, very intelligent. And uh, but because of uh, my quirky comments, I guess he blocked me. Uh, a lot of people really don't know how to take me sometimes. Take uh, Rob Works, for instance. Uh, he really thinks that uh, I'm flipping to the other side. Uh, I, I think it's very important to have a, a open, honest look and discussion and not to be afraid. Well, yeah, but I've got the advantage of doing this with you um, as a partner kind of thing. So I got an insight that it's easy for me to see what you do, you know, and what you're trying to tell people. But, you know, familiarity, it, it's, a, it's a good thing to have. Yes. Juan well, Tacos being uh, funny. Coronary there was a, Thombos. There was a, there was a time where people uh, weren't clear that you weren't just giving your opinion. You were in the city you were talking about. And, yeah, well, there you go. Cause I, so I was on the witness list. I, I, yeah, it's more than an opinion. I went I went back right, to but, Vegas on purpose because uh, uh, Clive and Bundy, he says, where are you, media? <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm over here. Right. But that was the part that was so strange is to know somebody that's actually going out and getting involved in a freaking social thing like that. Because we don't live that way. We read about stuff like that. I don't well, live I've, that way. I'm not a good Isolated. writer, but I have written about it. So take that. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, you're, uh, the post at the Bundy Ranch standoff were under the, the underpass where the mm -hmm. crowd's at. Yeah. I saw that today on Mines again. People are still talking about it. People right. are still new to finding out that there's something beside the official government story. Not Very big liars. Yeah, I, I am honestly a witness to, to how the corruption of the system works. Right, but not a lot of people are available for your side of the story because of their indoctrination. Yeah. You got a small crowd, but the thing that's good is you got a crowd. I ain't worried about was, crowd or yeah. numbers. What? Yeah. I no, 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 no. If you're screaming in a forest and nobody hears you, you're wasting your fucking time. You need to care about this one because this is the one thing that you actually went out of your way to do. What we're doing, this shit, this is just to, you know, let people know that there's a little giggle to be fucking had or maybe there's two opposing uh, ideas and they're both wrong. <laughs> This is practice kind of for next week. I'm a gong. You're every practice. Uh, oh, you sound very comfortable with the Tuesday night thing with the dark table, my friend. We're gonna have to make you. You know what? We need a uh, a dork t. I'm have my wife design a dork t-shirt, and then I think we ought to sell it through the um, RLM thing to raise Grimner some more big money. I'm going to tell you, sell, I'm going to tell you how that works shirts. out. Uh, you end up with a big box of shirts that uh, are not sold. Um, I've seen uh, other people do it. So that's just the way that works. Oh, how but, I mean, I it's a nice thought. I was being funny. You fucker. We live in Denmark. You know what freight is to America from here? Jeez. T-shirts. I, th I was going to make money. I just sell some of you people to slaves. You know, out of one bondage into another. But hey, I wouldn't tell you that. I'd tell you you're going to move to you know, paradise. But I'll be out there uh, picking slaves off the street at random. Like a brave new Selling world. them into the bondage. It is a brave new world. Hey, I could hey you won the lottery. That's right. You're going to paradise. Yeah. Who wouldn't believe it if you pulled up in a big car and. Hey, add in 72 virgins, and boy, that'll really get you. Oh, uh, you buy in all that Muslim shit, too? I'm a Muslim. No, you're not. You're a, you're a dumbslum is what you are. Uh, anyway, no, last week you were a something else. Now you're a Muslim. 
What are you representing all face for a fee? No, by the definition of the Rena word Vinny. I am a Muslim. Okay, what is the definition of a Muslim? Muslim one that seeks the will of God. Oh, eh, well, that's not me then. You know, I seek the will of yourself, Mort Troutner. Who's Mort From Troutner? Times Times River, New Jersey's finest human being that ever lived. And who is he? Mort Troutner. I just yeah, told was, you. yeah, but I the still don't know. The finest, the the top. I mean, just everything that you could ever want to be. That's Mort Troutner. So I want to be Mort Troutner. <laughs> there you go. I've I still don't explained it to you. I'm well, gonna do a dot you, G. <laughs> you do celebrity your way, and I'll do it mine. <laughs> yeah. Do I if spell it, it right? Popular. I don't know if it was Look popular. I wouldn't want to do it. No, nah, because that's see, yeah, that's the same thing you got the last time you tried this on Mort Troutner. Oh yeah, you told me about this guy. I because still it's this. as though Mort Troutner does not even exist. You can't even Google Mort Troutner now. How special is that? <laughs> huh? What's a guy? Google yourself. Now? You hey, dad, Google yourself. It'll take you to something. You Google Mort Troutner, it takes you to Stephen. Huh? Think about it. There is no Mort Troutner. He's bigger than life. He's like the all-seeing Mort. <laughs> That's the best you can do, Flute. The, oh, Google no. Vincent Easley the second. He says, he's, <laughs> I'm on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Well, th see, that's how intrusive Facebook is. Is they, They've taken anybody that's ever used it, and if you've used it, they still send me there, you know, or they, they claims that I'm, I haven't been on it since 14 or 15 might've been 15. I think it was 14 because it got into a fight with a religion utter like yourself. Oh, but this utter. religion, nah, eh, shut up. This religion utter was down on me about the devil's lettuce. And I snapped like a number two pencil and called that poor thing, everything but a white boy. And the next thing I know, I'm in uh, Facebook timeout. I went, get the fuck out of here. I'll, please. Then they wanted me to resubmit uh, to join again. I told them, please get the fuck in line. And then I found out I could delete my account, and I fell for it because there's obviously still an account under the name that I used to open the account. I know what your name is. Well, I know that. I'm not invisible. I'm anonymous. No, There's a difference. Yeah, that's what the flash somebody was about to avoid the using the slave name so that I cannot be swindled and fucked with on the interwebs. There it goes again. Mm. Mm. Because my vast fortune, my Jew gold, must be protected from the goyim. Don't you know? The Jews have rules. <laughs> <laughs> there's just some things you just can't have and by god i'm one of them right honey <laughs> my wife Wah. says so. Wah. yeah boy you yeah. marry him and the next thing you they you think they they think they own you <clears throat> what the fuck like you signed a fucking contract or something forever uh, what the hell <laughs> Well, I will uh, I will give you all the chance now to uh, find for yourself our outro, and it is yes. uh, my my greatest standby: War Pigs, Black Sabbath, mm. Evil Minds at Plot Destruction, oh. Sorcerer oh. of Death Construction, oh. Oh, in the fields of bodies burning <laughs> as the war machine keeps turning. Yeah, Death Ozzie and hatred to mankind. He's asking me to stop strangling the cat. Watch mine. Please oh, stop, no, strangling. Yeah. <laughs> stop strangling the cat, please. And I, I'm done with my uh, blog. <laughs> oh, that was fun tonight. I, I had fun. We will argue again on Saturday about yeah. the day and the time. Last Saturday, I, we did... Uh, Lullabies, legends, and lies. The winner and other losers. You Go around, fellers, and I'll tell you some tales about murder and blueberry pies. 
I think time is all made up by a bunch of bankers that want to make money. It doesn't really exist, except in your belief system. Scaramouche, scaramouche. Do you and people will go, angle? well, things age. Well, yeah, but you got to, you see, you're kind into believing you have to gauge everything. So they sold you this shit called time. That way they can charge you by the hour. <laughs> that's clever. Clever! Oh, that's so good. That's Wish so good. I would have thought, if only I was a Jew, man, I'd be milking the fuck out of this system. Boy, if only you good. believe like I believe, baby. Uh, I know, if only I would believe what the Jews believe, that they claim they believe, that would tilt me in the, that wavelength. And, but I don't. I just like making jokes about the accidental bloodline or whatever the fuck uh, namesake I fell into and, and how much fun it is to joke about it. But whatever we did, we didn't do it. It was those other people. We're, we're God's chosen. <laughs> hey, hush, wife. Circles. Uh, the wife mocked me when I said we're the chosen. Anyway, thanks for doing another dork table here. Uh, we still got a Vincenzo. We we still got five minutes. Yeah, well, I start to wrap up and tell people to thank you and have a good day and all that good uh, dorky shit that I. Well, I I had to start the outro early because. You'll cut me off at the very end, and I'll be like, still talking. <laughs> Grimner says not to keep your day job, Vinny. Singing's not going to do it. Told you. Uh, I now, feel a little was offended Vinny, by that statement. That I'm going to sing another song. Strangling a cat. I'll no, do we're it. Gonna, w wait a minute. Ah, we got Miss Mary coming on tomorrow night. You're going you're gonna to kill her in, input for that really, really? No, I'll let you talk for a minute. Uh, Okay. Hey, there you go. Anyway, yeah, we got Grammy Time's up. Z no, I'm just <laughs> uh, on the RLM tomorrow night. You tell them the time. You do the time. Kid. At 6 p.m. in the uh, land of the Ozarks, uh, also in Kansas, said it would be uh, 7 p.m. on the East Coast and uh, 4 p.m. on the left coast, where Hal Anthony resides uh, out there in an undisclosed <laughs> location <laughs> that I have been to. And you cannot torture uh. me out of it. Ow! Turn ah. me loose. Name dropper. Well, <laughs> that that's good. It's nice to it's nice to see people are connecting. <clears throat> Besides just the interwebs, that there's actually hey, I know him. It's, that's the that's the extra part. I think I've met a few friends on the interwebs, and they're still friends. Do you have friends in low places? Oh, yeah. All the way down to Australia. Miss B, way down under. Hello, Mary B. How yeah, you doing today, yeah. Sheila? Hey, she's been hanging out with me over on the uh, the new reallibertymedia.org. Because I know her from the old World Truth days. So when they redid the thing, she went, hey, I got to do this. Well, so, they're, hey, they're letting me relive my infant... Uh, internet days when i first got into social media through uh real liberty meeting well that came later but uh world truth was the first one and i found that on on uh what was it uh facebook see when i got to facebook i already didn't like it and i saw a little blurb that said uh something about you know a change a little bit more honesty kind of leaning that way try world truth so i, I eh, yeah. tried. Hey, Anthony's the the guy that I think he uh he started the very first World Truth and he had the yeah. uh yeah and then he, he shifted it over and then so he has a World Truth uh uh what is it dot com or something like that World Truth TV or, or something there. I'm not real now. Nah, that would be Mary that would know all the 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 do's or Cirque. I didn't do all the paperwork, so I don't know whose name's on what. But those days are over, and now we're starting a new. But some of the old people, Pancakes and Miss Mary, and um, who came from those? That, not a lot of RLMers are from that period. You, I knew you at our um, World Truth, but still, it's just getting started back up, so it'll take a little work. Got to let people know. That's why I was uh, pitching the the bit shoot because it's very impressive, and it's more fun because. I felt I could choose what I wanted. I wasn't having certain things put at me. 
Good night, everybody. You got any Wait. last words there? You want to Wait. say something? Yes. Yeah. Friday, the uh, Freaker Friday here at Real Liberty Media. Um, I am not uh, – I've got my ponder gander on a pause while you and I are doing radio and yeah. as I gather some. So then Mary will come along again at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time, uh, followed four hours later. Uh, Grimner comes along with uh, Mighty Moose Girl on the Freaker's Ball. Unless she's gone, it'll be balls to the walls, y'all. And then uh, back again uh, on the Sabbath at uh, 11 uh, Central Time with uh, me and you doing some more dork stuff. Then the next day we get Grimner on the uh, left coast time. It's 9 a.m. Followed by Hal Anthony at noon uh, uh, o'clock on the left coast Pacific time for uh, Behind the Woodshed. And come on over and play some trivia uh, if you like. Something's not right. It's making a liar out of me, stupid Gmail. I was going to have my blog all passed over to Grimner before we ended the show. Oh, but it says didn't do it. something's not right. This is loading. Mm. It's getting, Google's on. getting loaded. You know. You're still getting better. Well, what are you going to do? You can't get any worse. Ah, ha, see you That's next week. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks a lot for hanging at the dark table, everybody. Thank you, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.